The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renata knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong. But he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis Stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course, Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. And he had a gut feeling that he needed to use that to his advantage. All right, so some of you guys actually haven't seen the fourth e uh, fourth episode because I couldn't put it up until two hours from now. Technically, I'm breaking the embargo just, like, by an hour or two, but, I mean, who cares? Uh, so anyway, uh, I'm being asked, how did you get Zenobia's path? You go for the Sky Ripper and then you immediately go off to find Zenobia instead. Screw, it, like, just ignoring the Sky Ripper as a thing. Um, and then she goes crazy and starts murdering ravens left and right and whatnot. I don't know. Anyway, uh, it's a, it's a good... It's a good run, and I recommend going off to watch it on YouTube afterwards. But for now, let's actually go see uh, what all four truths make. Because, yeah, we got them all. Of course, I'd still like to go back and get all these stories just because they're cool. But we'll get there at a certain point. Okay, back to choices. Let's go this one. You can't make new old friends. The rebellion was out of time. Renardo needed a game changer. Even though Lupino wasn't what anyone would consider a game changer, he could come up with some harebrained schemes. Maybe rescuing him was worth it. Renato finally realized that Lupino was a traitor to the cause. And maybe Renato could use that somehow. Oh, it's giving me choices here to... So I've already done these, but I can use that. Oh, this is cool. Anyway, Renato could use that somehow. What to do with the knowledge about Lupino's treason? Renardo would be foolish to trust Lupino again. He should confront him, or better yet, find a way to use the traitor against his new master, the Emperor. Maybe Lupino could be a game changer after all. Renardo couldn't quite put his paw on when he'd realized Lupino was working for the Empire. He'd never exactly seen Lupino sending coded messages to the palace, but he was sure. The rabbit had been on too many disastrous missions where he was the only survivor or where he accidentally missed getting on the boat that went down to the abyss in flames. If Renato could prevent Lapino from getting back to the fleet with all the intelligence he'd probably gathered, it might be worth the trip. Let's see, I'm assuming your character's somehow using time travel. Yep, the book throws you back to the beginning every time you fail. It's very choose your own adventure -y. There's one good path, and this is it. As far as I can tell, anyway. I'm looking forward to this. I actually haven't played in a week. Uh, because I've been waiting. I, I haven't had enough time to record any more. And here we are, ready to play again. And I like it. How had they come to this? They'd been on so many adventures together. Lapino had talked Renato out of prison at least four times. And Renato had rescued Lapino from at least two lynch mobs. Okay. Ow. It's been a little while since I've played this, so my gameplay is... ...is a little garbage. Taking some getting used to. There's a lot of these here all over the place. Oh! You know what? I'm gonna chuck you into your friends. Keep chucking. Never stop chucking. I'm man-chucking everybody. There we go. There's somebody else over here. The answer is, eh, close enough. But he'd always felt that the rabbit resented him. The Pino was hilarious because he was so down on himself and everyone else. But behind the laughs, he wasn't a happy camper. Ooh, was this payback? Or did the Empire have his little white tail in a vice? Just remembered, I can't shoot things in this game. Yeah, so, uh, back when I did the demo, this is the level that I did. Which I actually find kind of interesting that... Really slice like ham. I actually find it interesting that I'm redoing... Oh. 
I don't really like this. I don't really like explosive guys. Wow, that worked out perfect. Let's open this chest. And we get attack speed, level 3. Alright, that's going to be really useful. Okay. All I've got is that you're a badass rebel fox. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's about it. There's like some backstory with like Zenobia, your love interest slash evil princess of a sort, but she's also uh, supposed to be the sacrifice to bring back the Eldritch Gods that she doesn't know about, and uh, her dad won't tell her about that, but he probably should because that'd be relevant and probably make her uh, complete, completely rogue tray. Okay, anyway. That the government workbench placement program, but I just you could see the benefits everywhere. I just want to come back to this. So I don't think there's actually any rare materials that we ca care about. Uh, at this point, we've already got all the upgrades we're looking for. We need experience now. I don't think it... Oh, right. We can upgrade our swords and stuff. Let's see. Is this a roguelike? Nope. It's more like Bastion. I think this is actually the first time I've live-streamed this game since the demo. Uh, which is kind of neat. I'm just using, using and abusing that, uh, that power meter. I think I had something over here. It's been a long time since I, I've been through this zone, so I'm trying to get everything just because. Okay, throw the fun of watching episode 3 and 4. Sorry. I'm trying to give relevant backstory to the people that uh, have never seen this before. Wrong sword, open. Hey, I think they fixed that bug. Yeah. I, I'm still not entirely sure. A breeze coming through that door. Had it been closed before? I'm still not entirely sure if I'm going to be playing all 24 stories just because. I guess it will be a lot easier with, uh, I guess it will be a lot easier because I can just skip the, like, relevant plot stuff or skip ahead or whatever. Ish? Anyway, what's this? Physical resistance, which we really don't care about, but still. Oh, what? Where? What? Where? Did I get thro thrown all the way back to the beginning? I think I did. Where am I? Okay, not, oh, okay, just here. Good. I didn't see that cart there earlier. Was that was that there? It must have been. I'm just blind, I guess. Let's get out of here. We don't need all this. Oh, altar. We do need the altar. Okay, I've got three skill points available. Well, that's relevant. Let's do uh, movement speed. Way better than being able to shrink down to the size of an ant. Uh. Anyway. Let's see. So we can do aggressive countering, time mastery. Doesn't seem like a bad idea to do the dash thing. Overall speed of the hookshot, time mastery. Or we could do like kick and throw distance increased. Let's do that. I actually don't remember how to. Wait, what? I'm confused. Wasn't that just open like seconds ago? Bernard I'm lost. Crafting materials. Now all he needed was a crafting bench. Wait. Where am I? Okay, so we hit that lever. Huh? Did I miss something? Or maybe I went the wrong way. Let's go back up a bit and head over here. I, I must have, like, missed the proper... Yeah, here, here we go. This is the right way... N no? Oh, we go down the well. Okay. I was really confused. It's like, where, where are we supposed to go here? This is the answer. Oh, this is new. I've never been here before. I really do like the uh, Grand Hog's Day effect when used right in stories, and I think this game has done it in an interesting and fun manner. Enough to definitely keep my interest from like a storytelling perspective. The I do wish that there was like more uh, moments where like the the characters acknowledge the fact that like why does Renardo know these things? Like how how is Renardo like here? There's a couple of red spots on your feathers. Oh wait, not yet. Boop. Boop. Did I... Okay, I got him. There we go. Not as proud of that one. ...everywhere from dropships. He'd better get moving. If they got to the Pino first, the rabbit would give the Empire all the intelligence he'd been stealing from the Rebellion, and they'd probably give him a medal. He'd have to be very careful about how he played Lapino. At the slightest hint of danger, the mad rabbit would take off like a... Well, a, a rabbit... Okay. That's a weird side area. Didn't seem to lead anywhere. 
think he said something. The Pino would betray him. The call is dangerous. Uh, Renato had a fleeting idea that the two ideas went together somehow. And then it was gone again. Ah, oh, damn ideas. They never stuck around when you needed them. Gotta be close to done with all the treasure here, too. Which is neat. Okay, health's back up, and we get energy on kill. Eh, neat. Dear Zenobia, how are you enjoying the academy? New friends must already be flocking around you, no doubt. Here in the palace, things are the same. I have much time to dedicate to my special hobby. I've been collaborating with the Professor Calaveras and his team of experts to investigate the nature of the islands. My gut is telling me that the islands are alive. I think they have a will of their own. Do you hear me, daughter? Our world could be more than a flock of floating masses of rock and water. Professor Calaveras and his boys have made measurements. The islands are drifting, surrounded by an endless sky. It is different, uh, difficult to notice, but through careful measurements of wind over long periods of time, they are certain the islands are moving westward. But where to? It may take centuries, millennia, to reach the destination. I have this strange idea. What if the islands are some sort of herd? And they are deliberately, deliberately searching for another herd of islands. Can you imagine? New islands with their own inhabitants. The thought that we may not be alone. If only I could live long enough to witness the event. Love, Father. Interesting. So that's that's his backstory. So the, the Empire wants to live forever purely because of that. I think this is yours, said Renardo. But he couldn't hear his enemies answer. Ah, uh, so satisfying chucking enemies into into each other. It's so good. And the game froze. Or not. Fatal error. Damn it. Mapino had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen a winged horse. He'd only sold it. But wait, where was the prison? The village was empty. Had, had everybody fled the ravens? All right, so we've already done this. He was practically sure he'd find something useful in one of these things. Unfortunately, we have to fight all these guys a second time around. Which kind of sucks, but, I mean, whatever. Happens. Let's see. Oh. My... My ability to chuck ravens has dropped off after game crashing. Ah, damn. Yeah, whatever. This is actually particularly large encounters, so go figure. We're going to run into, uh, several groups. There we go. Yeah, here's the question. Do I... Do I still have all of my Ravens crystals? Renato had seen villages empty like this. All the people taken away to be sacrificed in the Emperor's secret rituals. Renato hoped the people were just hiding. Here's the question, did the story break? We've obviously still got our upgrades. The village looked so peaceful. Were the villagers hiding somewhere? Of course not. No matter how much he searched, he would only find ravens here. You know, this wasn't really what I was expecting, that we would uh, run into this issue. I'm, I'm curious how... How much this screws, uh, screws up. Okay, well, at least we get that back. Okay, so I'm going to ignore that. Uh, we can use the workbench, but we don't care. We're going to come back over to the altar. We are going to get... Uh, getting stronger was kind of useless. Oh, yeah, attack enemies at any distance. Let's do this one. I can come back for the movement speed one later. Would be nice, but we'll level up soon enough. Anyway, down the well. Oh yeah, there's a treasure chest there. Ah, it just had ore in it. I don't really care. Near as far as I can tell, upgrading my weapon seems kind of redundant in this game. I'm really curious how my sword gets longer in this game. Because I know it does. I just have never been able to pinpoint why. Okay. Well, we don't have an answer. Oh, hey, we should be able to upgrade one of our swords soon. Okay, so is there any benefit to coming down here? No, apart from the fact that it's drop-dead gorgeous, just like everything else. Alright, 
Let's let my energy come back, probably. Oh! Encounters difference. I do like the fact that you can attack at any distance. That's helpful. Ravens were landing everywhere. The advanced guard. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lupino first, they'd eat him for breakfast. Or a snack. Ravens weren't picky. If they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. Even top spies like Lupino. Well, unless he really was a traitor, obviously. Then they'd probably pin a medal on his chest. Okay, well, we're already back to where we were. We got the attack speed upgrade, which is what we're looking for. Okay, now let's not dash through this section. Alright, that's a new one. And they're already dead. I do wish you could rotate your camera here. Alright, well, it's not... Okay, that was the loading segment. Let's see if we get the right story here. Dirty and bloody, Renato finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing his shuffle. Bernardo recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats, so we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows, and that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who happened to also be a deadly sorcerer, and, oh, his only daughter? Uh, that would be worth it. And it would be nice to see her. He'd always had a soft spot for her. And, he felt sure, she had one for him. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. I think we broke it, actually. I think- I think we're on the wrong story path. Like, I- I think because of the way the dialogue has been rewritten here. I- I think we're on the wrong path, because it's not giving me the key anymore. It's giving me an exclamation mark here. Yeah, you know what, let's go down this path one way or another. We're here, we've already done a mission. Let's see what happens. Uh, okay, so even though Renardo could no longer get the Sky Ripper's armature, its core was still within reach. Maybe he could still harness its power with Lupino's help. To make the Sky Ripper, the Transcendent Emperor had wrapped an armature around the eye of a god. Renardo had already let that armature slip away to save Lupino's life. But even its core, the eye torn from a god, surely they could fashion a great weapon from that. The core of the Sky Ripper? Lupino is excited. That's an actual thing that we could just go and get. You've been busy. He sure had. Renato told him all the things he'd been up to. Soon they got to talking about old times, about wages they'd won and lost, and scrapes they'd barely got out of. It was good to be back with his friend. True, the Corps was capable of terrible, uncontrollable destruction. But this time... He was sure it would work great. Yeah, we're we're desynced from the finale, so this this is actually just a miscellaneous mission. I don't mind doing it, but uh, this is uh, this is not what we were intending to do. That crash actually broke our path. It's beautiful here, thought Renardo. It was nice to be back with his old war buddy. All right, Lapino was a traitor, but still. It was good company. It was time for a little exploration. Where the heck are you supposed to go normally? Is this path only open to you if you've got the... Oh, I see. We go that direction. I thought for a second that we weren't ever going to be able to continue. Okay, well, there we go. Also, don't think I've been to this zone before. So, Dear Zenobia, the director of the academy has told me how much he was impressed by your academic performance and leadership. Somehow I doubt this was a session of bootlooking. I have seen plenty of those. That old toad is sincere. I'm proud of you, my daughter. You'll make a fine empress one day. 
On my end, great news, Professor Calaveras has been studying the Nexus and has made a bold observation that Toad is a true genius. You know how that island is unique? Constantly changing, new crystalline formations appearing, island fragments merging, splitting, slowly drifting, held together by some invisible threads? Professor Calaveras is convinced those changes are not random, but rather indicative of the living nature of the islands. He has observed that certain changes on the Nexus follow, or sometimes precede, a turbulence on another island. Lance, slide, quake, flood. The Nexus seems to resonate with those events. Maybe the islands are a hive mind, and the Nexus is the brain. In any case, I am funding a permanent scientific ex observatory on the Nexus. It will attract the Empire's greatest minds with Professor Calaveras at the helm. I anticipate a great age of enlightenment f with the uh, Empire. With love, Father. Okay. Let's make this quick. I'm on my break in literally two minutes. Okay. Yeah, I haven't been bird shucking in a while. And it takes a little bit of getting used to. We're okay, though. I should probably go for the extra health thing, just because. Okay, can you... Thank you. Let's heal, our, heal ourselves up here. I think I get extra energy based on... Um, based on uh, kills or something. God, I love the fact that the sparkles change based on your... Uh, this chest contained a vorpal sword. I'm just kidding. Vorpal swords don't exist. Okay. Let's keep chucking and chucking and chucking until we can't chuck anymore. Everybody gets chucks. Except for you. I, I don't know. Do birds even wear shoes? Would they wear shoes? I should ask Bird. Is that guy still alive? Oh, I see. He was conjured or something. Gotcha. Alright, uh, nothing else here. We've got nothing else there. Guess we keep going up. Yeah, this is a completely new biome. Never seen it before. I really like it. There was something sour in the air. Oh. Like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermenting for a very long time. No, we have been in this area. I remember it now. This is just the you only time I've been through it. wild gogglers together like this. The toads had to train them not to peck each other to death. So these to be Imperial Gogglers. That meant Ravens were up ahead. Boy, if looks could kill. Okay, so we have to wait till they turn away. You have died. Restart from checkpoint. I think this is a new area. Or something. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to avoid fighting them. There's no benefit to fighting Gogglers, so it's not worth at it. Uh, it's not worth it. felt wrong. All over. He could feel an almost palpable sickness in the air. And if the land could have tumors, they would look like these monstrous crystals. The forest was quieter than it had been. There were insects, but few birds, if you didn't count the ravens. Bernardo smelled sick animals and dying ones, but no healthy ones. I'm getting a bad feeling about this, Bernardo thought. Maybe Lapina was right. Maybe they should have kidnapped Zenobia instead of coming here. Well, I'm really curious to see, like, how badly we messed up the story here. Of course here. there was a puzzle. You couldn't expect the transcendent emperor to bury a god's eye in a leather sack where anyone could pick it up. Not much of a puzzle, though, I will admit. I do not remember any of this, though. Like, this is all new stuff to me. Which is interesting. Like, I, I really did not expect that I would be, um... Like, thrown off course like this. Or maybe I'm on course. I, I can't tell. I honestly can't tell you. C can I grab him? There we go. Okay. Let's grab them before they do anything. There's more dudes here than I thought there were going to be. Luckily, that doesn't matter. That is how we do it, said Renato to himself. Yeah, I think we I think we broke the dialogue, so it's looping. That's okay. Is this it? Yep, we're already here. So we did actually do this one before, As but he held it was the different. Radiant Icosahedron, Renato felt queasy. 
Like dozens of tiny worms were nibbling his insides. It wasn't healthy to be so close to the eye of a god. How could he use it? He could take it to the observatory. The scientists there could tell him how to harness its ancient power. But honestly, Renardo ached to get away from it. He brought the core back with him to the Farfarer. But honestly, Renardo ached to be rid of it. Tell you what, said Lupino. I'll take it to the observatory. You attack the Imperial outpost. The Imperial outpost was a vital communications node. Taking it could shatter the Empire's ability to coordinate. And it would be full of secret plans and maps and maybe even rebel prisoners. It was a good target for a hero like Renardo. But what if Lupino lost the core to the Empire? That could be a good thing, couldn't it? Was Renardo ready to take that risk? Maybe it was better if he brought the core to the scientists himself. Yes, yeah, so we're completely desynced from the uh, true ending. It broke the story and brought me back to a normal path, which is really weird. So, too important to leave to Lupino or uh, drop the core. You know, let's go this direction. Uh, yeah, let's go this direction. This one, we you just find out he's a backstabber. I don't know what happens when we go this way. Lupino was a touchy rabbit. Renardo knew that. You're brave, I know, Renato said. But this is what I was hired to do. Oh, well, at least let me run ahead and warn them you're coming. Renato wondered if Lupino was up to no good. What if the rabbit warned the Empire instead? Oh, but Lupino wouldn't betray him like that. Not again. Before it'd been a fluke, right? They finished the trip to the Nexus in silence. You would offer Lupino a chance to betray him, or not to. His old friend deserved another chance to prove true. All right, Renato said. Go. It's interesting that we broke the story this way. That was a shame, because I really wanted to see what the ending would be, but I, I mean, maybe this could actually be the path. I don't think so, though. I like it how it gives you an exclamation mark when it's a new, it's a new path that you haven't taken before. That's good, at least. As Renato watched Lupino vanish on the horizon, he could feel nausea building in him. He felt ill. Would his knees really be aching this much? But how could he have handed the core off to Lupino? That was a recipe for disaster. Hey, we don't care about treasure that much. We get plenty as we go along. We don't need cores or anything. Try it. You're hooked. This is an interesting path, though. Uh, just because the whole, like, core makes you all diseased and stuff. I'm, a I'm actually really curious to see what's at the end of this one regardless. Like, at first I thought, you know, most of the endings were going to be kind of dull and uninteresting. You know, just kind of repetitions more of the same style. But that's not the case. Okay. Whoa, what the f fudge did I do? Did I just toss that guy up into the universe? I did. He never came back down. I just like flipped him up and he's gone. You guys saw that, right? I hope you guys saw that. That was awesome. Worse. All his joints were aching now. He'd been through beatings that felt better than this. So the core had a kind of poison that could harm you without even touching you. That's new. Well, it had power. The rebellion needed something with power. And how was this any worse than a sword wound? Well, a death by sword was sudden and fair. This was just squalid. A piecemeal death like old age. Renato had given up in the Skyripper's armature to save his friend Lupino. But without its armature, Skyripper's core was a deadly poison. Yay, I can finally upgrade a sword. So we can upgrade Winterthorn, or I'm gonna upgrade the Void Blade. Now it could slice the wings off a fly in the air. 
Not that he would. It's sort of mean, really. Okay, the other thing is, let's just check gems. Shield breaker. I could get rid of critical chance. That probably doesn't matter that much. Physical resistance. Nah. Yeah, all of these are mostly useless. The energy on kill could be good. Oh, shit. Did I take hits or if I... You know what? Let's actually go back. We do need the uh, the energy on kill more than the critical chance. <coughs> just because we are... Oh, we are just slowly taking damage. Okay. Why you to house one of these things? Oh, that would be amazing. It would be like having a boat. Okay. You know, I really should stop doing that. It might just be easier if I just walked around the fireballs. Because I think that's easier than flipping this dumb switch. Because this way, at least I know I'm safe from one direction. Uh, never liked that band. I don't know. They seem sketchy, somehow. Okay. Okay. So we're kind of in danger. What the? A dude fell through the world! Okay, I guess that's how the previous guy died. That's the only thing that makes sense, because I popped him into the air, and then executed him that way. Okay. That's neat. I didn't really expect that, but still. Okay. Well, we are dying. Like, for this for this run, it actually is is uh, doing, like, a slow damage, uh, damage over time effect, which I find fascinating and actually kind of cool. It's a neat way of doing things. Oh, no. It's this pathway. The observatory was a burning hulk. Dead scientists everywhere. Bernardo found the Mad Rabbit cowering under a desk. The Ravens, they must have known we were coming, said Lapino. How did you... Well, you see, I was doing a card trick with my lucky deck, and I kind of bobbled the card, so I went under the desk to gather them up, and boom! I guess we'll have to take the car straight to the secret base. Bernardo wasn't sure he believed that, but... Lapino was talking so fast. He always seemed to make sense. The secret rebel base. Yes. They had engineers there. But wait. Calaveras, the sage in the mountains. Maybe he would know what to do with the naked core. Let's go for Calaveras, just because. The core was killing him. He needed help. The sage, Calaveras, had given them the maps to find the armature and the core. If anyone knew the true name of the Transcendent Emperor, if anyone knew how to assemble the Sky Ripper, Calaveras did. If anyone could heal Renardo and render the core safe, at least to its bearer, surely it was he. The base of the mountain was the only safe place for a landing. He would have to continue on foot, muscles aching. Calaveras was a scholar, not a doctor. Could he really save Renardo from the poison radiating from the lost god's eye he was so recklessly carrying? What was really fun was hooking yourself onto a moving ship. So it looks like my... It looks like my minimum health, or maximum health is, uh... Currently 30, and then healing beyond that is pointless. So let's not bother. Oh, this was not a fun way to die. Even if he survived. No one would write ballads about the fox whose knees ached forever, would they? Not unless he paid for it. And he hated paying for publicity. And we know all, all roads lead to Rome, so let's just go to Rome. Can I fire this guy off the hill? It's kind of hoping I can fire that guy off the mountain and not have to worry about it. But I don't really care about treasure chests. I only have one sword left to upgrade.
And I don't really feel like, uh... I don't really feel like uh, going out of my way to get upgrade materials. We'll get there pretty much normally, honestly. It was chilling walking through the living mountains. There was always noise up ahead. Insects, birds, the croak and flutter of ravens arranging ambushes. But close by, there was only the breeze and the trickle of melting snow. As if every living thing was holding its breath for his poisonous burden to move on. That it? That's it. Unfortunately, because of the uh, the constant sumoing that I do. Building uh, these platforms was so expensive, they'd run out of budget for guardrails. Unfortunately, because I go out of my way to sumo people like a crazy person, it makes it almost impossible for me to actually, uh, uh what was it? I don't know, combat's really short. Makes most things kind of meaningless, too. Oh yeah, my combo meter is, like, terrible. Luckily, I don't really care. I think getting perfects is better than getting, like, a combo meter. Well, I tried murdering him as if he went off the edge. Okay. Yeah, I... I like the, uh... I like the visual of Renardo. Uh... Bye. I, I really like the visual of, like, Renardo running around right now, because he actually, like, they've made his running animations look ill. I really like it. They did they did that uh, particularly well. And we're also getting a ton of these. Uh, so where do we go? I assume I don't go down, that, down this direction. I guess we do go this way. I'm just missing something, some here. So, uh, some here? Somehow? Maybe it's back this way, and I, yeah, totally missed it. This is the right way to go. It's been long enough that my sense of direction is mildly impeded. Artisans he was creating employment for. Truly, he was a job creator. <laughs> Funny. I really do like snarky, uh, snarky narration, though. They they did that particularly well in this game. This game, Ratchet and Clank to a lesser degree. Bastion. Bastion was always really good. What else was there? I've been playing too many games with snarky narration. And... It's all good. Open, says me. Renato wasn't sure he should have rescued Lapino. He could have had the Sky Ripper. Now all he had was the core, but it was killing him. Yeah, so we're not going to learn any truths, which makes this kind of an interesting run. But I'm okay with the two, I guess. The core, splendid, croaked Calidaris. Where's the armature? Right, I was kind of hoping you wouldn't need it. <laughs> no, I don't. It's just a professional interest. We've got much better prismatics than the old TE ever did. So Calaveras was an arcane engineer. He fussed at the core all day. He wrapped it with silver chains, and in front of it, he placed a huge round ruby so that it looked like a monstrous floating eye. Ah, so, what is it? Yeah, I call it the Oculum. It's my very first death ray. And it won't poison me? Oh, no, 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 it's completely safe now. Anything I should watch out for? Yeah, tr try to avoid pointing at any mirrors. As he loaded the Oculum onto the Farfarer, Bernardo was a little concerned about Calaveras. People who were utterly sure of themselves, he had found, were either experts or horribly wrong. Or both. But Renardo only needed to fire the Oculum once. He only needed to destroy one ship. The Emperor's ship. And the war was over. Renardo plunged into the Imperial fleet. He felt the Oculum humming. He no longer felt sick. This was gonna be fun. Or at least, it was going to be over. Okay, this game is, like, legit frozen, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's not good. Please don't force me to redo things. Well, it's done, so we gotta start over again. Okay, yeah, how far back was chat? Holy shit, yeah, I've missed you guys for, like, a long time. Okay, I'm gonna actually have to force quit the, force quit the program. 
Okay, please let me just continue from where I was. Please let me just continue from where I was. Uh, let's go to stories. What Zenobi's ending did I have? I had number eight, the missing ingredient. Uh, and those four things let me get the final ending. Yes. Unfortunately, this is not the right path. And now things might be broke. Can I do this with the mouse? There we go. He drops the core at the entrance to the council chambers. Get that thing out of here! Croaked the speaker. It's making us sick! That's the core of the Sky Ripper, said Renardo. No, it's not useless at all, said an engineer toad. It's poisonous. Look at the fox. He's ill. Probably dying. Yeah, not useless at all, said Renardo. So what do I do? Rub it on his majesty? The engineer chuckled. Renardo didn't like it when engineers chuckled. Oh, I got it, I got it. Listen, I can make a bomb that spread bits of the core all over a circle about a hundred paces wide. <laughs> Little chunks of poison and death. All you have to do is just get it near the emperor. It'll kill him and his bodyguard and chop off the head of the fleet. Yeah, and if we're lucky, might poison some of the ravens around there as well. What about me? Right, what about you? Mm. Well, I'll build in a timer. You can set it and run. No, that's a horrible idea, said Renardo. Well, we have to do something, yes, said the speaker. This is something. Renardo couldn't argue with that. And so, reluctantly, Renardo loaded the rigged core onto the Farfarer and set sail towards the Emperor's ship. The rebels took the fight to the Imperial fleet, but Renato was too sick to enjoy the view. He must have passed out as a firm hand grabbed him and shoved him forward. This was it. Yeah, it broke again. So this time around, we're doing the other ending where we had brought it to the engineers. Luckily, it's defaulting us to the beginning of the last mission, which is good, so I don't have to replay anything. That is so weird. All right, yeah, I've, I've broken this game several times here, but it works. Yeah, this is the rebel base option. I, I, I am floored that this happened, but I guess it did. And I mean, it's still gonna unlock a new ending for us, so I'm okay with that. Um, it's just nothing has gone right over the course of this playthrough. Oh man, this is like the biggest cock tease. It's like, oh man, we're gonna we're gonna go off, we're gonna beat the game, sort of. You know, we'll still go back and replay things. And then it's just like, nope, we're gonna break and give you like the default option. And then we're gonna break again and give you the even more default option. It's just like, mmm. <laughs> it's their way of not letting you finish the game. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Renato resisted the temptation to fire the oculum until the time came. He could sense its arcane energies yearning to escape the sage's wrappings. Wait, what the fuck? It wasn't eating him alive. So that was a plus. He felt good about himself. He'd saved a friend, he'd helped the rebels, he'd relied on himself, but he'd listened to others. He felt like the right sort of hero. Wise, yet decisive. Calaveras had been so sure it would work. Maybe he could fire it just a few times. No harm in that, right? But um, only when he absolutely needed to. Wait, but now it's back to the oculum. What? What ending are we going to get here? Where are we? What day is it? Who am I? You know what? I'm not Renardo. I'm George from Accounting. Because you know what? As far as I'm concerned, I'm not even the main character of this game anymore. The Oculum can have that right. <laughs> I'm going to put this... happens if I go that way? I'm going to put this episode up with the title of just like finale question mark. And it's just going to be the most confusing, confusing episode for everybody. Like, how did I do this? A energy on kill. We need that. Oh, I love hooking onto the moving ones. Doesn't even matter. This is just nonsense. I love it. Like, this is such a good game. Renato wondered idly if people who had built these poles had really, really long tentacles. 
Ah, oh, Renardo's arm was getting tired. The core was no longer eating at him, but he still felt weak. His stamina was shot. But he had the oculum. When the raven swarmed him, it was sometimes a pirate's death ray. Oh! It seemed to be warming up too, firing more and more often. Maybe we should let it cool off. He decided to stop using it entirely. Stream title, Stories, The Paths of Confusion. <laughs> Seriously! This is like the most confusing not finale I've ever done on accident. In fact, this is the only not finale I've done on accident, but I think it's fitting given the situation. Like, seriously. This is so, this is so broken. It was not this broken like a, a week ago or something. Maybe you ought to put a railing on this thing, he thought. There's a blurb a uh, couple episodes back talking about, maybe it was even the first one, putting a horse on one of these. I'll buy random blank. The idea of putting a horse on one of these just sounds so mean. Oh, we're not going this way today. Okay, well, I guess we're going back to Zenobia's ship slash not ship. Gotcha. Can I, like, mash a button to get my energy back? Wait, I'm still, like, shiny and stuff. I guess I'm still, like, mildly broken. I think we still tear a hole in the universe. Bye. I don't know if it's obvious what I'm doing. Did I kill that other guy? I have no idea. I don't even know where he went. You're the only one left. How do you feel? How do you feel? Dead. <laughs> yeah, game karma for everything breaking. Very possible, actually. Like, we could totally have game karma right now. Okay, that slow-mo was a little concerning. I guess that was kind of the end of the, uh, run slow-mo for story stuff. No, don't leave without- that's a- Oh, oh hey, we get to see- The oculum was still hot to the touch. He almost thought it was getting even hotter. Well, that was ridiculous, of course. Anyway, he'd only to fire it one more time, and then he could chuck the whole contraption into the abyss. And the Emperor's ship was now in range. Renardo squinted. He could make out the line of ravens protecting the ship. Zenobia in front, conjuring. And on the deck, yes, that was his Imperial Majesty, pacing in his golden armor. Renardo lined up his shot and fired. Caught in the beam, the ship burst into flames. The ravens and Zenobia exploded. The Emperor, too, exploded. Renardo waited for the beam to stop. But it only got brighter, and the oculum hotter. Frantic, Renardo pulled the oculum towards the abyss. The ruby burst into flames. The shiny metal casing glowed, then melted. That was good. Now the core could cool off, right? Renardo ran. The blast incinerated him instantly, along with both fleets. The shockwave could be felt across all Erda. That winter, with neither empire nor rebels to rule them. The island slid into banditry, and so began the second age of darkness. Oh, again? But he already had all the secrets he needed. He was sure of that. He must have not used them the right way. Ah, what was the best, worst mistake he could make? Probably trusting that traitor Lapino. You didn't use the right, the right way, you dumb game! <laughs> Alright, anyway, new story completed. Story number 18, the fox who is, whose knees hurt. What kind of hero are you? A hero who seeks balance, who makes wise yet decisive decisions. Alright. The book's pages fluttered to the beginning once again. Faster than before? And he fell. 